I don't know what happened, but uh, we're just driving fast and then after this we're going to the job. So who doesn't like traveling vlogs, right? And welcome to another episode of Alex here. In this vlog you'll see me traveling from UK to Romania and uh, if you're curious to see how it was please stick till the end and you're gonna find out. I have that that feeling that I forgot something and uh, because the car is so full I had to check the tire pressure because for example if you have more weight you have to adjust your tire pressure if you have more people in the car you have to adjust it and uh, after I adjusted I felt the car more uh, I don't know rigid and uh, also have to buy some other things like uh, these uh, seat belt protectors because I always have scratches all over my neck because of this I know it looks cheap and it is cheap same with this with the sunglasses holder it looks cheap and this it is cheap but it does the job because uh, I don't want to waste my center console with the space from the sunglasses. So I have to stop to a petrol station. My closest pet petrol station was closed due to delivery. And uh, I'm sure I'm, I'm gonna stop to another one to fill up the tank. I only need uh, one full tank to Dover. I'll probably gonna stop at the last petrol station from UK to fill up the tank. We stop for a coffee. I think we're in Birmingham. I took a double espresso. We have only three more hours and uh, we get to Dover. It seems like I've done five hours and I think I only done uh, two hours, I think.
Now you can also follow me on Instagram, Threads and TikTok. it on the ferry the ferry had a delay of two hours but we can st we still can see the cars are still coming on this side particularly when the ship is at sea if at any time you find the motion of the ship uncomfortable our best advice is to remain seated parents and guardians are reminded that they are responsible for the supervision of children in their care at all times while on board Unaccompanied children are not permitted on outside decks. Thank you for your attention. We wish you a pleasant voyage. Pendant votre voyage à bord de notre navire, Isle of Inishmore, votre sécurité et votre confort sont en priorité. In the of safety, kindly note that smoking is strictly prohibited on the vehicle decks. You are the flight model instructor here on ship today. Please have your passports and appropriate documentation available as it may be required for your...
I think we are on a, on a motorway and I'm not sure because the speed now the limit is 81 miles per hour which is 130 kilometers per hour and uh, I will try to stop in maybe the first few hours to stop on, uh, at the petrol station take another break just to get used with the new air from France and uh, that's it it says we will arrive in 9 hours at the Airbnb and then I can sleep we officially crossed to Belgium and uh, we did it without any frontiers or something or checkups or uh, giving the documents to, to the border or something we just crossed on the on the motorway and that's it we stopped at the petrol station in Belgium we're just gonna do a quick break we stopped for uh, taking some snacks and then we'll hit the road again This is another petrol station. There's uh, two kilometers, but I don't know if uh, I took the right path. If not, I just have to go back and uh, check for another one. I guess I'm wrong. with 
this car on the with the steering wheel on the other side. It might be a bit strange for a, a person who didn't drive a car from UK with the steering wheel on the right side to drive it in Europe when you have to drive on the other side. It's kind of weird. But anyway, I got the petrol station. This is it. I think it's Shell or something. Looks like Shell. Should be Shell. We're taking a quick break now just to stretch out and fill out the tank because um, in Germany the prices for the diesel are a bit higher than uh, in Belgium or France or UK or uh, Austria but not Hungary anyway We are still in uh, Belgium. We stopped for a snack, for a sandwich. Now we will continue with our trip. We don't have many miles left in, uh, to drive in Belgium. After this, we're going to Germany. Good morning everyone, or good night, or good afternoon. We are still on the trip. We are in uh, Belgium, we stop for a snack and uh, for the, to go to the toilet. And I want to say, I don't want to lie to you, I was too tired and I had to stop and um, just sleep. I slept uh, maybe I stayed here two hours, but I didn't sleep two hours, maybe one hour I slept and um, I think I'm better. I have to drive another seven hours to stop to the Airbnb and there I can sleep uh, how much I want in a day, of course. Now we're going to stop at another petrol station because I missed the entry for this one.
but uh, we were just driving fast and then the police appeared out of nowhere and uh, they're now escorting us but I don't think it's because of speeding I think uh, there's some roadworks this is on the ways
finally arrived to the Airbnb and I'm gonna show you our uh, room This is our room. This is the first bed. Ah. I need some sleep. I know that I need some sleep after so many hours driving. This is the second one. And this is the third one. I mean, this is the couch. But you see how big is it? The balcony. Here it's a farm, so it's so quiet. After I arrived at the Airbnb, I uh, took a shower, changed my clothes, jumped in the car and got to McDonald's to get something to eat. Look at this view. That's so nice. We're just crossing the border with uh, from Germany to Austria and uh, we have 1.7 kilometers oh I think this is it oh it says Republic Ostrich I think that's uh, Austria and we have only 13 hours left to get to my home city hometown and that's a uh, thousand 290 kilometers around 800 miles that's uh, speed limit 60 you're gonna see us crossing the crossing from Germany to Austria now this is a river or a lake I'm not sure everywhere vignette vignette that's uh, the road tax if you don't have it for sure you're gonna have a, a fine coming your on on the way to your address you, oh so this is the where you you can buy the vignette have you seen the the yellow like a small house that's the place where you can buy the vignette but the thing is that uh, these guys are selling it uh, more expensive than how much uh, it costs actually it costs uh, 12 euros and i think they sell it with 19 euros i did some research on this and you can actually buy it online it costs only 12 euros if you buy the electronic vignette it says usually if you buy it from uh, from here or you can uh, you can uh, pay and for the uh, for the normal one for the one with the sticker the sticker will come to your address in I don't know how many days but you have to buy it before before a few days before uh, going to Europe or going to Austria because it takes some time for the sticker to arrive at your address and also you also gonna need the vignette for Hungary and Romania and the thing is from uh, with Hungary the story is the same they have these uh, yellow uh, houses that you can buy yellow shops you can buy the vignette from there I'm not sure if the prices are uh, more costly than the one from the that you if you buy it from online uh, electronic ones but the thing is that it's more comfortable for me that um, to buy it uh, online and not stop to a place and just wait in line to buy the vignette that was it I think uh, we're in uh, Austria we're in Austria
this lock. That's it. And this is the price. that's it I think this is the third full and we're gonna put another one in Romania that's it of traffic we have only three hours left to the border with Romania and then seven hours or less till our destination
this is it. Now we're gonna show them the, our, our IDs, passports, and what they need. And uh, we're gonna cross the border. And we still have 800 kilometers left, I think. Okay, so we just crossed the border now and um, we're gonna stop in a petrol station just to have a quick break and then there's actually 566 uh, kilometers left and we're gonna be home
twisted road in Tsenaya. It's a mountainside, just like the one in Brasov, in Brzezhnov. Uh, to our destination in fact we we only have uh, three kilo kilometers left but we are practically where we we grow up so this side is where we grow up
just made it to our destination. This is our uh, hometown, and uh, we just made 2,880 kilometers, which is 1,770 miles. We did that in uh, three days, but uh, we slept at an Airbnb. This is our city center. This city is not so big. It's actually small. eat something now. I just uh, been to a car wash. The car is all uh, clean now. So now we're going at a restaurant to eat something. <laughs> 